Hello, my name is Andrew and I'm going to be showing you a video today on Shodan and Python. And so for those who are familiar with the, the tool Shodan, it's Shodan, it's extremely powerful and it's it's basically the the Google for IoT where I can we can look up any device that's on the internet and get all kinds of information uh, on that particular on that particular asset. And so when you when you start using Shodan, you use the GUI and it's it's an awesome resource. But uh, once you start going into the the terminal and accessing your uh, Shodan through the terminal, you start to realize like, oh my goodness, this is I can make my searches so much faster. And so what I've done here is I've written a Python script, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do a quick step through on some of the some of the code, and feel free to use the code and the, the only thing that's going to be unique to you is that you need to put your own appy key in here. And if you are a, a paid member of Shodan, then you are going to be able to access your own appy key. Uh, I'll put a link in my the description here on how to find your your appy code. But for now, let's go through the let's go through this Python script here. So we're going to import Shodan. Make sure that you've installed Shodan. In the description of this video, I will have a link that's going to also explain how to install Shodan into your into your machine. So we put your key in here. We're going to be creating a an object here and linking to our key. I've created a function here that's actually going to be my my output file, so that when I when I go to the Shodan and I search for machines, it's going to actually pump out all of that data into an output file and I've chosen to use this this function like this and over here on line 12 we have a very similar functionality to what the website uses where I, we are actually inputting your search query and basically we're just doing it on doing it from the terminal and so we take we take your input here and we're going to use that variable to to search and access your all the devices on Shodan. Over here on line 13, I've I've created a empty list so that when we go through our our try and accept, we're going to be using our uh, item that we're trying to find, and we're going to query uh, Shodan's uh, database, and we're going to print out the total. And then over here, we're going to actually like fill up this list with partic three particular things. So we got our our IP. We're going to have our host name, and over here, we're going to have our, our OS. So I'm, I want to grab three things for each each uh, piece of information: the IP address, the host name, and the OS operating system. And if that doesn't work, then it just errors out. The next step. So what we've created our we've created our list, and what I'd like to do is give the user the choice to either print all of that print that list to the screen, or print it to a file. And so if they choose to print it to the screen. Then we just cycle, we just iterate through the list and print it to the screen, or we just iterate through the list and we send each item of that list to the function that we've created up here. And it's going to create a new line uh, with this item for everything. And it works extremely fast. So let's go ahead and, and try this out. Awesome. So here, we, here we are over at the terminal. I've put my my appy key back into my script, and it's ready to run. So let's take a look at uh, port twenty two because that's always a really interesting one. It took about thirty seconds. I paused, and then here we are. We got about. 18 million hits. So what we do here is we would uh, put this out into a file. 
Okay, we're done with that. And now let's let's take a look at the file. All right, so I've shown you the code now, and I'd like to show you the the file. However, there are there is IP addresses actually in this file, and it would be silly for me to put people's IP addresses on a public forum like this. However, uh, I am going to show you some information in the file that can safely show that the file that the script worked. Uh, if you're if you're wondering, well, you're you're being a little self-righteous here about giving us the code that can do all this stuff. This isn't the only resource. You could look up Showdown on anything and it would it would give you some scripts that would do the exact same thing. So this isn't this isn't anything new, but uh, it's just my my particular method that I'm using. So uh, what I'm gonna do? I've I've already got the output file, and I'm going to tail it and show you some information in there. Perfect. So this doesn't tell us anything really, but what it does say is that it did. There was information on some machines that was grabbed. The last ten machines on this list, uh, we've got an Ubuntu machine here, and it says none. And this means that there there was not an operating system that was listed for that particular asset. So um, what we're seeing here is that if we were to go into that file, we, we would we would see the IP address. We would see probably a host name as well uh, and the banner that was grabbed by Shodan it was able to determine that there the, the operating system for that particular machine was Ubuntu okay so uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, like that would be great and uh, I'll be sending some more uh, Python scripts your way all right thanks everyone bye